In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this unit from 120 volt use to 240 volt use. This is older tech from the early 90s. Back then, multi voltage stuff was not as common. Often it was either set at the set voltage or there was an internal way to change the voltage or maybe a slider switch on the back to go from 120 to 240. There is a method, it's pretty easy. You don't need any tools except a Phillips head screwdriver. Reasons why we would want to change the unit to 240 volts is because we no longer have to use a stepper down like we've got in front of us. This is going to take up extra room, more cables, and there's always the chance that you take your device somewhere else and set it up and forget that it needs a step down transformer and then you plug 240 into it when it's not ready for it, bang, you'll blow a fuse at the very least, most likely. The labels on the side further showing that the input voltage is AC 120 volts. Again, it is a USA model. It is necessary to take the case off to make the voltage change. However, you do not need to remove any of the cards from the back, including the input voltage area that does not need to be disassembled or removed at all. Firstly, if your unit has rack mount ears on the sides of the unit, they need to be removed. In this case, two Phillips screws are holding the ears in. The other side is the same deal. There are remaining four screws to get the case off, two on each side of the unit. All the necessary screws have been removed to take the case off, which comes off as such, a U-shaped bracket, essentially. We need to take out the card just here, the one that is obscured by this cable. To remove that cable out of the way, there's a couple of plastic clips, one on each side of the cable, that need to be pressed outwards they're fairly firm, that's got that one, and that one's got that one. You just lift up that cable like such, gives you the clearance you need to get this board out. In order to remove the power supply board, there are three screws that must be removed from the bottom of the unit. that will free the card up to a degree so you're able to pull it out. With those three screws released, we can slide this card left. Now this is at the front of the unit, by the way. And voila. We can rest it on top. This card or really power supply board is basic. Here's your mains voltage in the white and the brown wires in this plug where I'm touching with my left hand, that's the input voltage. The other plug is the output voltage. Now, unbeknown to the watches, I've already converted this thing to 220, 240 volts, but it's simple. It's just this jumper that clicks on to connector three, CN3 right there. So now this thing's ready to go back to 100, 120 volts. It's even on the board printed there, short for AC 100 to 120 open, which is the case when I take it off again, open for 200 to 240 volt usage. It's as simple as that. All you have to do now is repeat the steps back again to reassemble. We can start the reassembly by sliding the card back in. You can actually see on this board or power supply there, there's your specs on there. 
that it does have that 200 to 240 volt range that we need here in Australia. I think that's it. Just needs to be screwed in. Yeah. It's screwed in to be firm. Put those connectors back on. Good. We're ready to plug in. There's our power lead, power on. Click, click. Again, we'll turn on, get the click, click. There we go. No bangs, no fuses blown. We can see the standby light is illuminated and then we can turn it on with the green. And we see our ones lit up, our twos lit up. We're all good to go. We've got 220, 240. We've got Australian mains power running in here. We no need to use the step down anymore. No need to chance of blowing up if we still had it in 120 and we plug 240 in it. We're all good to go. Once you've got the power changed over to suit your country's mains, then you can proceed to use the device. Here I've got a few consoles hooked up, PlayStation 2 in S video right now. And then on the next one is a Saturn in S video. Then finally is a Super Nintendo in S video, just to give you a little demonstration of what the unit can do. Thank you for watching, keep an eye out for the next video.